This app has you mindlessly scrolling for hours and has approximately 1.8 billion users on it every day. I'd like to reach all those people with my videos. So how do I grow on TikTok? Hi, I'm Kelsey and I grew from zero to 40K in just under a year. I woke up one morning to look over my phone when my notifications were blown up. I was shocked. I hit 40,000 followers. So how did I get there? By accidentally figuring out the algorithm. Now you may already know that if you find a niche, then you're more likely to start growing. My niche was making fun of myself on TikTok. So I already established a niche, but what separates me from everyone else that does comedy? It's an easy answer. I'm creative and I'm, well, I'd like to say I'm unique. And to be honest, most people struggle with that. So let's face it, being on the internet is very scary. To put your whole self out there and just be you, that's hard. And people are going to remember every small thing that you do and everything you put on the internet never goes away. So it sure does put a lot of pressure. Another thing that's going to get you followers right off the bat is turning that creativity into a high quality video. What I mean by high quality is not just a fancy camera or a nice light. What I mean by quality content is engagement. Engaging with your audience is so important. One of the reasons relatable content is so popular in 2024, they're relating with their personal experiences to you. And if you're engaging with them, this also means you need to be responding to comments and that includes messages too. Now, I know for some of you, you're not gonna like this one, but you're gonna have to participate in the trends of TikTok every once in a while. Yes, I know some of them are cringe, but using popular songs and trending videos, they really do help boost engagement and get more eyes on your videos. Even adding trending hashtags help tremendously, which now brings me to socializing. A lot of us are introverts on the internet. I know it doesn't make sense, but the truth is if you want to grow your audience, you're going to have to be a social butterfly. And that means you're going to have to collaborate with people and even go to those special nice little events that everyone invites you to that you keep saying no to go. So start filling up that calendar of yours because there's some events you need to attend and some people you need to talk to. Now, once your calendar is nice and full, think about filling whatever spaces you have left for time to edit and post your videos. You can also reach to even more of an audience by checking your analytics and looking at the proper times that you should be posting. I think by implementing these growth hacks, you'll find yourself more than capable of growing on TikTok. Thank you guys so much for watching. By the way, I've been holding my mic in my hand this entire time and it's been about two hours. I don't know why I had to share that with you, but I had to share it with someone. Okay, you guys have a great day.